Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today is a bit different because as you might have noticed the PC is turned off and this is because we'll be upgrading from this 9 euro capture card to the Camlink Pro from Elgato. So stay tuned as we'll be installing it right now. So with the PC on the desk first thing that we'll have to do is just take off this glass. I guess I didn't really do a proper unboxing but I more or less just want to get this card installed and start using it. So we might as well do a quick unboxing while the PC is open. There shouldn't be a lot in the box. Well, we have actually quite a cool packaging for a capture card. And yeah, it's really simple. The capture card here reminds me a bit of a graphic card actually, how it's packaged. And a little tiny badge for the PC I guess that we can stick on it but I'd rather not and wrapped in an anti-static bag we have the capture card so what's really cool about this one it's got four 4k 30 HDMI inputs and this will allow you to connect multiple cameras you can connect consoles different computers and it's also very future proof since it's 4k and of course all other resolutions backwards compatible And in case you're wondering about the PC, um, I recently upgraded it actually. Um, not sure if you might have seen my video in 2017, but since then um, quite a lot of has changed. I've upgraded to an AMD 5800X and also an Aorus 3060 Ti graphics card from a 1080. So this has been quite a performance upgrade and editing my last few videos on it has been absolutely mind blowing. The export times have been so, so, so much better than what I had with my old Intel system. And um, yeah, so without further ado, I think we should start installing this capture card. So unfortunately, the card isn't the prettiest thing from my power supply, but I think it's gonna be fine. We'll cover it up with the new Camlink Pro and that might cover it up quite well. All right, pretty cool. That went relatively easy. All that's left to do is put the case back together. And speaking a bit further about the capture card, what's really cool about this and what lets me do is record way longer times with my overhead camera, which I um, have been using in the past few videos. What I've been doing is I was using this really cheap 10 euro capture card basically to monitor the video only, but this camera has a recording limit of 10 minutes. So at the time I would always have to keep checking if the camera on top is still recording, which turns out to be really tedious. So what's going to be really awesome about the Elgato card is I can record basically unlimited um, just by using a HDMI output cable from the overhead cam and using a little dummy battery to keep it powered on. Now all that's left to do, side panel back on. So now with the capture card installed in the PC, that's how it all looks. So what I've prepared here is just three HDMI cables. I've got two for each camera and also one to test how a console will work. This is the Nintendo Switch. So I'm just curious to see how these cables and um, inputs will perform. Turn on the PC, see if everything works. Now the only thing that's left to do, of course, is to install the dummy battery into our camera. That means replacing our regular battery with the dummy. And with that attached, we can now simply connect our HDMI cable to the camera. All right, so I just went through the process of downloading the 4K Capture Utility, which was a super quick download and install from the Elgato website. So let's go ahead and launch it. And meanwhile, there's, okay, and we already have no signal and let's turn on our overhead camera. And I'm not sure which HDMI they've logged into, so let's just head over to the settings, device, and let's just choose HDMI 2 and there we have it. So now this is my overhead camera right now on my desktop. Let's just go to the camera menus and set our output resolution to 4K. And really important setting that you don't want to miss is to disable the output info display. So this might be called different. For example, if you have a Sony, it might be called different, but as you can see, 
as we can see here, wow, this signal is so, 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 so clear. So this is going to be the quality on the cam link. As we can see, it's an extremely crisp and sharp video signal that literally looks exactly like how it comes straight out of camera. Now let's connect our 10 euro HDMI capture card. So here we have it. This is a recording on the 10 euro capture card. As you can see here, the quality, it's really not that great. You can see the colors really are quite different. And now let's just swap over to the Elgato capture card. So now we're back on the Elgato capture card and as we immediately can see how much clearer the video signal really is in 4K. Let me just grab the phone and I'll show you the back. And you can really see that much more detail. So I think this is going to be an amazing upgrade to anyone that wants to record multiple cameras at once, stream in high quality video. Even if you're using this in 1080p, you'll get an amazing signal quality from it. So now the last thing that I really wanted to try was actually how the Nintendo Switch looks. So in that case, let's swap over to HDMI 3. And <laughs> no, this is way too cool. Let me just get the Joy-Cons. And as we can already see, we're in the Switch menu. We're recording here with audio. And wow, this is so cool. Like this is actually really, really nice. Let's just go into some Pokemon. So what's really nice about this Elgato software, it immediately recognizes the quality and it immediately recognizes the signal that we're getting. So there's no configuration needed. I literally plugged it in, installed the software and connected my HDMI devices and we're pretty much ready to go. And yeah, so far I'm really, really loving this. So here I've got some classic Switch gameplay and um, I'm not going to do any like real gaming benchmarks, but so far what I can tell is, oh yeah, we've got some amazing drift happening on my Joy-Cons here. But um, yeah, like I can't really feel any noticeable input delay, which is great. And for playing more casual games such as like here Pokemon or you're playing Animal Crossing, I think this would be perfectly fine for recording your gameplays. So let's go through the menus. So there is a little bit of a delay as we can see, but this is really not meant to capture gaming. But I think for your casual gameplay recordings, this is gonna be perfectly fine. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my little journey about upgrading my PC with a brand new capture card. If you're interested in more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to leave a like. It always helps the channel out a lot. And as always, I'll see you back in the next video.